you've got an Xbox Series S. Congrats, it's an amazing console. But now you have this, these are the five must have accessories you need to get your hands on to make the most out of this amazing console. Xbox Game Pass is the most important thing you can get for an Xbox Series S. Why is that? Well, this is an all digital device. As you can see, there is no disc tray on it. So it's only digital games you can play. Digital games can be a little bit expensive, but with Xbox Game Pass, for a low monthly fee, you get access to hundreds of games. And one of the other things, which we'll talk about in the next item, which is a bit of a limitation of this device, is it does not have a lot of storage space. With Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can play and stream games directly from the cloud, which is amazing. So it takes up no storage space, as long as you've got a good internet connection, you can just click play and the game will run. It is amazing. Not only that, all the biggest and best Xbox exclusives like Halo Infinite and Forza Horizon 5 all launch on the same day they would hit the shops for no extra cost on Xbox Game Pass. I'll also leave affiliate links down below in the description and the pinned comment so you can easily find all these amazing items we talk about in this video for a great price. External storage is next on our list as this is super important as the Series S being such a low price console does not have a huge internal hard drive. It is 512 gigabytes, which only 364, I think it is, are actually usable. So that can fill up pretty quick if you've got big games installed on there, like Call of Duty, Warzone, Halo, Master Chief Collection, all that sort of good stuff. But with this, this is two terabytes. It'll cost you around about $60. Really super cheap. You can store loads on this as a library. The only thing you can't do is you cannot play optimized games for Series X and S from this hard drive. You need to store them on this and then transfer them onto the internal hard drive when you want to play them. And then you can transfer them back over to save your storage space. This is great as it saves you re-downloading loads of games. I thoroughly recommend this. And if you want to get storage, which you can do everything on, that will go into this storage slot here. You'll leave it to pop up there. The Seagate expansion card is a little bit more expensive, but you can do absolutely everything with this. So I recommend you definitely look into some storage to increase the amount you have to play with. I really recommend next you think about getting another controller for a couple of reasons here. So first off, you can then play couch co-op games. There's lots of good ones on Xbox. You can play split screen on Gears of War. You can play it on Dart 5. Loads of cool games like that you can play with your friends or family in the same house. But also, I cannot play FPS games without this Power Rate Enhanced controller because the back buttons here, as you can see on the back there, fantastic. That means you can jump, shoot, build, and do whatever you want to do without taking your fingers off the sticks, which you'd usually need to do. It's a game changer. Also, it looks really dope with the RGB lights, and this will only cost you $35. It is a bargain. Definitely pick one of these up. It will save you also on batteries. It's wired, so you do not need to worry about batteries in it. That, I guess, is one of the downsides. It's a three meter long cable. So as long as you're not sitting miles away, you should be good to go. But if you are not going to pick up one of these and you do have a normal Xbox controller, like this one here, I recommend you pick up a play and charge kit so you can charge your batteries and you're not always buying double A's to put in the controller as you'll start to tear through them really, really quickly. And just as another little cool accessory I think is a must have, how cool is this Halo Infinite cable guy of Master Chief? Yeah, it's really dope. You can set your controller on it, you can set your phone on it, your tablet on it. It looks amazing. This guy just looks dope on your setup. He just keeps things nice and tidy, so you always know where your controller is. Thanks very much, Chief. A gaming headset is a must buy for your Series S console. Why? It makes a huge difference if you're playing games competitively or games you're actually trying to win, like Battle Royale or any first person shooter or multiplayer games. Other games will just sound way, way better, but this is crucial for games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex Legends, so you can hear the footsteps and explosions of enemies wherever they are. It gives you a huge advantage versus just your normal TV speakers or versus your soundbar. 
Your sound bar and things will sound great, but it takes it to a next level with a gaming headset. Even this really cheap one here, which I'll leave a link down below this, would cost you about $7 for these ones here. And if you want to get some really cool official Xbox ones like these ones, you can get a wireless one and a wired one and I'll leave the links to them down below in the description too. You will not regret it. What Series S accessories have you already got? Let me know down below in the comments and to find out all the different storage options which are available for your Xbox Series S console, click on the card on screen right now.